the first school for robots in the world has opened in Beijing. However, this is not the only thing China can surprise with. In front of you is a fully robotic next-generation parking system already operating in real urban conditions. The world's first humanoid robot with six limbs was developed by engineers from the Chinese company Medea, who introduced an industrial android called Miro Yu. In the Chinese mountains, something that seemed like science fiction just a few years ago is happening. Entire mountain ranges in Guizhou province are now almost completely covered with solar panels, turning into giant natural power plants. These and other high-tech news stories in this video. In front of you is the first school of its kind for humanoid robots that has opened in Beijing, where androids are trained almost the same way as humans. Through practice, mentors, and gradual mastery of real professions, with each robot student undergoing training under the supervision of two human instructors, who not only demonstrate actions but also track how the machine absorbs skills, corrects mistakes, and transfers experience to new scenarios. The curriculum includes tasks in warehouse logistics, household services, object manipulation, spatial navigation, and interaction with people. And the project is based on the humanoid robot Kwafu, with a height of about 166 centimeters, chosen as a universal platform for learning applied skills, while the key goal of the school is to solve one of the main problems of modern robotics, the shortage of high-quality data for AI training, since instead of fragmented experiments, a standardized process is being created in which centralized datasets of movements, decisions, and errors are formed and become useful for the entire industry at once. Here is a next-generation fully robotic parking system implemented in China and already operating in urban conditions. This is the Shanghai parking system deployed in Shanghai where the car parking process almost completely excludes human involvement, and the driver only needs to leave the vehicle in the intake zone, after which an automated system takes control. Parking can be managed via a touchscreen display or mobile app, with a fully automatic mode also available, and access is granted through a magnetic card, QR ticket, digital code, or electronic key. Inside the facility operates a massive robotic mechanism, a sort of parking harvester, which independently moves vehicles along optimal routes, precisely placing them in storage slots. And a special stabilization system prevents the car from swaying during movement, which is especially important for protecting the body and suspension. While unlike traditional parking lots, narrow passages, human error, and the risk of accidental damage are completely eliminated. Engineers from the Chinese company Medea have developed the world's first humanoid robot with six limbs, presenting an industrial android called Miro Yu. Unlike classical humanoids, Miro Yu is designed not for demonstrations, but for real work. Instead of legs, it uses a stable wheeled platform, while six robotic arms allow it to perform several operations simultaneously, holding, sorting, assembling, and moving objects and the robot's design allows the torso to rotate 360 degrees, giving a full view of the working area without moving the entire platform, while its modular architecture makes it adaptable for different tasks, ranging from assembly and packaging to equipment maintenance. According to the developers, the project has already gone beyond the prototype stage, and mass production is planned to begin in the near future underscoring Medea's serious intentions to enter the global humanoid robotics race. In China, a next-generation firefighting drone has been developed, capable of reaching heights of up to 300 meters and extinguishing fires in locations where traditional equipment is powerless. This is the Skytech S300 system, which fundamentally changes the approach to fighting fires in high-rise buildings and dense urban areas. The key feature of the Skytech S300 is that the drone does not operate autonomously, but is connected to a groundwater source through a flexible hose, allowing it to continuously deliver a powerful stream without limitations on liquid supply. 
the device takes off directly from the roof of a fire truck, enabling it to start firefighting almost immediately upon arrival without spending time on deploying complex structures, and the system is controlled from the ground while stabilization and positioning in the air allow precise targeting of water or foam even under intense heat and turbulence. Chinese researchers have announced a major breakthrough in computational technology by unveiling the LightGen Photonic Microchip, which is designed to work with large-scale generative artificial intelligence models and, according to the developers, may be up to 100 times more energy efficient than traditional electronic processors. Unlike classical chips, where computations are carried out through the movement of electrons, LightGen uses light signals, which drastically reduces heat generation and energy losses, while simultaneously increasing data processing speed. According to its creators, this is the first example of a fully optical computing chip initially designed not for narrow laboratory tasks, but for running complex semantic and visual generative AI models that today require massive data centers and extremely high energy consumption. The LightGen architecture makes it possible to perform key neural network operations directly in the photonic environment, bypassing the bottleneck's characteristic of modern GPUs and AI accelerators. In the Chinese mountains, something that just a few years ago seemed fantastic is now happening. Entire mountain ranges in Guizhou province are today almost completely covered with solar panels turning into giant natural power plants, with massive photovoltaic fields deployed on steep slopes and in hard-to-reach areas, whose total installed capacity has already exceeded 15 million kilowatts, which is comparable to the energy consumption of large cities. This region was chosen for a reason, since high altitude, cold climate, rocky soils, and complex terrain make these lands almost unsuitable for agriculture, but at the same time, ideal for solar generation, and instead of remaining unused, the mountain areas have become a key element of the country's energy strategy, while modern technologies make it possible to install panels even on steep slopes, and intelligent control systems automatically optimize the production and transmission of energy into the national grid, Engineers from China have proven that even highways can be works of art by presenting the unique multi-level Taizhou Avenue interchange in eastern China, which from above resembles an elegant butterfly, where each wing overpass is precisely calibrated in terms of geometry, loads, and traffic flows. During the day, the route performs its main function by supporting the movement of thousands of vehicles, while at night, it turns into a large-scale light show thanks to an intelligent LED lighting system that highlights the shape of the structure and creates the effect of a living, pulsating city. Yet the project is valuable not only visually, as the interchange has become the highest road in the region, and at the same time an example of rational engineering thinking. The multi-level layout made it possible to save about 200 acres of land and more than 1 billion yuan compared to traditional solutions. And instead of expanding the road network outward, the engineers built upward, efficiently using urban space. While some countries are still just discussing service automation, China is already implementing it in practice. And one of the most striking examples is the next-generation robotic gas station. This is the Senstar Robot Fuel Dispenser, the first two-sided robotic refueling complex in China capable of fully servicing a car without human involvement. Instead of an operator, an intelligent robotic manipulator equipped with computer vision, distance sensors, and precise positioning systems handles the work. It independently recognizes the vehicle, determines the location of the fuel cap, carefully opens it, removes the cover, and inserts the fuel nozzle at the correct angle. The entire process is controlled by AI, which monitors pressure, fuel flow, and seal integrity, preventing leaks and errors. Write in the comments what you like the most after watching this video. Subscribe to the Karo Show channel so you don't miss the next episodes. Bye for now!